Hi, Caroline Carney here at Palain Arts, and I'm standing with Mandy Martin in front of her beautiful piece, which will be in our papers workshop starting on June 2nd. Mandy, could you introduce us to your piece? Sure. So this is Spring's Promise 8. It's part of my Spring's Promise series, and I was painting this in anticipation of spring coming. A lot of my work features botanical elements, as this one does a lot of poppies and other flowers in my work because I think they're just one of the most joyful things about spring. Mm -hmm. I love, one of the things I love about this is that, um, and I think it has a little bit to do with materiality. I know it's acrylic on Yupo. And a lot of times on Yupo, you um, see alcohol ink because of you know the nature of alcohol ink, but this is acrylic, which allows it to have such great brushwork um, and dimension. Can you, one, talk a little bit about the materiality of Yupo and how that interacts with acrylic paint, and then also talk about how you approach the, the piece? Sure. So Yupo paper is a synthetic paper. It's tree-free, and so that's why I wanted to start playing with it. And acrylic is my medium, so that's why I chose acrylic. Mm -hmm. And I really like the way that the paint sits on top of the paper, mm -hmm. so the paper doesn't absorb anything from yeah. the paint. And so you get this wonderful texture. You can really see the movement of the brush on the surface. Mm -hmm. And you can even see, you know, things that are layered on top of each other kind of appear to be popping forward. Yeah. Like, for instance, you've done the, um, like, the stamen and the dots here that really sit right on top. And one of the things that I find very um, interesting and nice about this is when you get up close to this, the gesture and the brushwork works really well to give movement to these beautiful spring blooms. Um, Not only that, the, the, the background too. Yeah. Like if you get such movement with the background. Yeah. So you get to play with something that's like in some ways almost silky smooth and yet has great texture, which is not always something we think of when we're thinking of um, things that are smooth. But this allows exactly that. I also really love the way that you've identified um, the areas that, like, you've detailed them with this almost calligraphic line around the things. Uh, is this also acrylic? Is it Sharpie? Is it ink? What, what did, and how did you determine to do that? Sure. So it is acrylic. It is an acrylic pen. And I do that on pretty much all of my work. It's some of my signature mark making. Mm -hmm. So these kind of loose marks that sort of outline some of the shapes to emphasize them. I think it just adds a note of whimsicalness yeah. and playfulness to the piece. And that's why I like to do it. Yeah, and I like these little dots that you've added too, because again, they add, when we think of in my, okay, when I think of spring, I think of gardens that are blooming and blowing and, uh, pollinating and doing all those things and so to add these playful little dots that have a variety of weights really adds an extra bit of movement that you see in gardens and you can really feel in this mm -hmm. piece yeah yeah and that's another thing i do in a lot of my floral pieces and it really is an abstraction maybe of some flowers blowing in the wind or some pollen taking off or maybe butterflies that i saw just all of the wonderful things that happen and go into the air around it. Yeah, and there's something so ephemeral and um, effervescent about things in nature that I think um, demand exactly, but we want to capture. Um, and I think that for some people, there's the impulse to be like, I'm going to capture this exactly. But the thing is, is when you're capturing something ephemeral, you have to leave room for the breathability and movement and the dimension and the depth and things like that. And I think this does that beautifully. One of the things I also think is interesting is that the white sits on top of everything else. And we think of, when we're thinking of paper, we think of white paper. Mm -hmm. um, but in this case, the white is actually sitting on top of all of the color, which also adds a, a nice step. You, yeah, yeah it, it, it makes for space. Yeah. I was going to ask you about your composition, yeah. because um, you have two very strong compositions going on here. One is your layering of the elements, and the other is with your color. Mm -hmm. And if you could address both of those. Sure, sure. So I'm fascinated by plant life, and so that's why I love to layer these elements of botanical shapes on top of each other mm -hmm. to just accentuate the different forms of each one and how they bring out 
you know, the form of the next one when it's placed upon that and creates negative space around it. Yeah. Um, so that's what I'm doing there. And then in terms of the color, I paint the colors that make me happy. So mm -hmm. a lot of my work is really bright. Um, it isn't always completely representational of the subject, but there's some abstraction that's done using color so that I can bring out the colors that I'm most drawn to and that are making me feel good when I'm painting a piece. I like the, I always think I always appreciate an art when it melds kind of an emotive, like personal aspect with this capturing of a touchstone. We talk a lot about, we talk a lot about touchstones and art being a touchstone. And uh, I think that that you are both conveying parts of like your joy in things and then in something like this that everybody can relate to like beautiful spring poppies mm -hmm. uh i think that makes a very nice like kissy moment mm -hmm. so so i think that uh i hope that everybody comes to this up close and personal so that you can really appreciate the dimension that you've played with here and it'll be here at Palais arts from the June 2nd, yes, June 2nd, to August 7th. Thank you. Thank you.